So, how do you make an Oldsmobile or Moldsmobile carburetor fit a Chevy engine? Let's find out. Well, there's the Chevy carb. There's where it used to go on that 305 small block Chevy. And of course, the fuel line comes in sideways. And the reason is, if it came out the front, it would hit the thermostat housing. So, you can't really put a Moldsmobile carb on there because the fuel fitting gets exactly right in the way. But you can take this part off that used to screw on there, cut it in half, drill a little hole to make an elbow joint, and screw that on and it'll tighten up and point in a direction, same direction as that one, that you can attach that fuel line to. And I even used a quarter to make an end plug. Sweet. Now let's bolt the Moldsmobile carb on and see how it works. I love the simple redneck mods that I use. Well, this one did cost money. 25 cents. So the Cheviac is all modified for a Moldsmobile carburetor and ready to take for a maiden voyage. Got everything primed. Since there's no room to put a fuel filter back where they're supposed to be, I've added an external Ford truck fuel filter, the kind I use on my modified diesel minivan. Chokes all hooked up. You can see the line in the filters prime too. Everything else is all stock. I just had to cut the in pipe to the carburetor and add some extra tubing. So, let's batten down that hood and see what's going to happen. Now that's a redneck hood latch. Alrighty. Uh, little prime is in the carb so I won't bother with the choke. It's a nice warm day before the rain. A couple pumpage. Sounds pretty awesome. Is it idle? Oh yeah. A full bit of a rebuilt carb, you know. Now for a time for a test drive. Well, the world can hear me coming, that's for sure. Awesome. 